and Steve, you're going to show us the new version of Norton Utilities and all its fancy tricks. And the first thing you're going to do is actually what? I'm actually going to replicate a very common uh, error. You come in in the morning, you boot your computer up, and nothing happens. Okay. So what I'm going to do it, actually is I'm going to... Okay, you're slipping a floppy into the... I am uh, going to run room. the Norton Utilities. Um, actually... Just sort of give us a little description of what you're doing there. Okay. You know, Steve. What I'm doing here is I'm going to run in Norton Utilities, uh -huh. the utility, and I'm going, as I said, I'm going to replicate a very common error. When disk drives uh, crash, in the old days, it literally was a crash of the hard, of the head yeah. into the magnetic uh, medium or the platter. That no longer usually is true anymore. So what happens is normally when you, I'm going to explore the disk here, I'm going to choose an item, and I'm going to go into the absolute sector. One of the things, um, I'll edit this information, and this is the, what's called the master, or master boot record. And what I'll do here is I'll go to the hex table, and I'll literally um, replicate what happened if, for example, you were working on, you were working on, on a, saving a file to disk or whatever, and you had a power surge or whatever, you would get a hiccup, and these bytes would actually be overwritten by zeros. Okay. All right? I'm going to enter that. I'm going to write to the, to the disk. Yes, right. I'm going to make major changes. I'm going to crash this thing <laughs> very hard, okay. and I just did. Okay. Okay? Now, if I'm going to exit out of this program, and what I will do then is I'm going to turn the, turn the machine off, okay. and uh, just like you come in in the morning. Okay, so now... Get the switch down. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Right. Now, we come in in the morning, right. you turn your machine, turn the computer on, and you wait for it to boot up. Okay, and what should we be seeing then? Well, you're going to... It's checking for the RAM, okay. amount of RAM right now, and this machine has, uh, has about 1.6 megs. Okay. Uh, it's, it's got six cent memory in there. And it, this is very typical. It looks very normal. Right, it looks good so it looks far. looks good so far. Now it's checking the RAM, verifying it. And now it's starting to read for right. the command com um, from DOS. And it went to the A drive. There's nothing there. Now it's going to the C drive and nothing is there. Right. You rack into straight basic. Right, okay? Right. Now, being a uh, relatively sophisticated PC user, you know there's more than one way to boot a computer, so you go get your MS-DOS disk right. and put it in. And you try, you try to do that. And you know, you're, you hope you can get an A prompt. So let me do the Alt-Control-Delete, okay. and we'll reboot the system. And what do we expect to happen now? Well, what we expect to happen now is we'll get our standard DOS prompt, the date, the time, and hopefully uh -huh. uh, the A colon. Because now, once we're into DOS, we can see what's wrong with this with C drive, if anything is there. And yes, the disk light's still on, so it's reading it. Okay, and so here we go. Yes, we are. We are in DOS, and I'm just going to say enter. Okay. There's your now, prompt. So now, half the battle's done. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Let's go find the data on the C drive, and let's see what it looks like. The Invalid. PC user's worst nightmare. Right. Invalid it drive. <laughs> it is gone. <laughs> and if you're like most people, you try it again, you know, I mean. <laughs> and think of it, when was the last backup, right? When was the last backup? <laughs> That's exactly right. Uh, and and this, is the, this is the problem. And this is what the Norton Advanced Utilities now will correct. Not okay, only... Let's see, it, let's see it, okay. it. Yeah. Let's see it fixed. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I need to do now is, is get the disk one from the Advanced Utilities, which has the, what's called the Norton Disk Doctor on it, and install it. And we'll run it now from a bootable drive, which is A. Okay. And I will type NDD for Norton, Norton Disk Doctor. Mm -hmm. And what it will automatically start to do now, diagnose and tell us what's wrong with the hard drive. Before, and there's, before yeah. this, it was, the only thing you could do was take it to a tech repair right, shop right. and uh, very, very sophisticated assembler and hex uh, programming to try to reconstruct so what's it. What's it telling us? First of all, right off, there's no partition table, which means there's no master, master boot record. That's why we have the invalid drive specification. So how do you continue with that one then? All we do is say yes. Mm -hmm. okay. This is what the disk doctor does. Now, there, this is a large, this is a 90 meg hard drive, so we'll see if we have more DOS partitions. Yep, it found another one. Uh -huh. What it is now doing, we're reviving the various partitions. Oh, there's another one. Okay, and we're searching, we found them all. Okay. All right, finish searching, we say okay. Now, in order for this to happen, we need to, re, uh, to change to take effect. We need to reboot, and I will say, yes, reboot. Uh, we're taking the floppy out okay. now, and we should go right to our C drive, and let's we'll see if the data is okay. restored.
So you, you didn't only uh, recover a lost file, you recovered the entire lost disk, basically. Right, and, it, and there it is. Okay. So <laughs> from, from no C prompt, invalid drive specification, you do get the C prompt. Let's see if the data is there. And there sure is, enough, yeah. and there it is. And, and in fact, Dorton Disk Doctor uh, diagnoses many common problems in addition to the partition table or the master boot record being uh, fronked or damaged. Uh -huh. Many file allocation table errors like lost clusters, as reported by check disk or cross-linked files, the disk doctor again automatically diagnoses those, reports them on screen, and asks you if you want to fix them, yes or no. Say yes, it will automatically fix them and generate a report at the end for you. Great.